I'm now joined on the Sports Mix by the head coach of the Spring Mills Cardinals football team, Marcus Law. And Coach Law, your team with a statement win to open up the season 50 to nothing against Jefferson last Friday night. Just tell us, I uh, guess, about this statement win for your program. Well, I mean, honestly, going into the game, uh, really, the outcome is really un- unexpected there. Um, I thought if we can get some early success uh, running the ball and getting the run game going, that it would open up some other things for us. Um, but we were just lucky. I mean, the thing kind of rolled our way for us and, you know, had guys in the right spots, able to make plays. Um, I think defensively the biggest thing was we were able to, to, to contain the edge there a little bit and not let their speed kind of get to the outside of us. But it's kind of one of those wins you want, uh, you kind of hope for. But uh, everything going the way that we, that we need it to go, that worked honestly out in our favor there. What was, I guess, the uh, biggest things that went right in your mind for your team in that game? <clears throat> uh, Starts with off the line. Um, also, we ran the ball more than anything else, and they were kind of able to get some movement on the on the front of uh, Jefferson there. Um, and then at the same time, we were able to get linemen down to the second level. And anytime we can kind of wall the stuff off, we can, our backs are, are strong enough, fast enough to kind of get through there and, and get to that second, third level of, of the defense there. So I thought that was a huge piece of our success on uh, this past Friday. So you guys begin 1-0 and against an EPAC team. Uh now we advance here to this week. You guys get to have a road game against Wheeling Park. What are your early uh, thoughts on this week's matchup? Oh, I think Wheeling Park's defense, they, they can move. They can fly. Um, I mean, just looking at, I think it's Chavison and Trey. They're two middle linebackers. Um, they get downhill. And I, I think that, that, if anything, will present a problem to us especially our linemen having to have their eyes up and not necessarily going to where those two guys are at, but actually being able to meet them where they want to be at. So I think we're going to have to be better off offensively, being able to move their linemen as well as tracking those two. Um, I think coverage-wise, they, they can, they'll kind of give us a different look there a little bit. So it's going to be one of those things, if we're going to have to throw the ball back, it's going to have to be patient and really just take what they're giving us. Um, offensively, again, uh, Jameson, he's a little guy that does everything for him. Um, I think knowing where he is, typically tight end set form, um, knowing where he's at in the, in the formation is going to be huge. And also they run the ball very well. What are some other things that you guys need to focus in on in this week's practice ahead of this matchup that you want to be able to execute on Friday? Well, you know, honestly, the biggest thing is, you know, our guys, you know, we got that win last week is being able to stay humble. We needed to put that game behind us on Saturday and then, Coming out throughout practice, we need to be able to put that behind us and actually focus on the team at hand. Because, again, like you said, we're going up to Willing. We're taking a you know, two, two, two hours, three hours trip up there. This needs to be a business trip to us. And I need these guys to go out there and handle it that way. You mentioned the fact of staying humble after defeating a, uh EPAC rival in a big way that you guys did week one have you seen that humbleness uh so far this week from your players you know at times we have again we're dealing with high school kids but at times they have shown the humbleness they've been able to focus and lock in i thought yesterday offensively we have an excellent practice defensively today, we have an excellent practice but again it's about putting it together on thursday when it's like gets that fine christmas so again i mean they're high school kids they're going to have their ups and downs but I think I do believe they kind of put that behind and they're, they're ready to go. So obviously a 50 nothing win from a media perspective is huge, but uh, coach's perspective, I know you're still probably nitpicking things throughout the game. What are some things that you oh, still yeah. feel like you can get better with uh, as the season progresses? Yes, yes. I mean, I mean, just the small, some small things, though, like getting our quarterbacks carry out fakes. Um, encouraging our linemen to get more of the guys downfields, blocking more on the second level, the guys running for a long run, getting themselves into the play and not you know, doing um, a bad penalty for such as illegal blocking out of field or something. But it's small things like that. If we want to get to the next level, we have to be able to do. All right, Coach, any other thoughts about the matchup from last week or against Wheeling Park? If not, we'll get to the uh, fun question. Um, no, I think we're good. 
All right, so this week's fun question is uh, who your favorite NFL team is since the NFL season's getting started uh, here on Thursday and also a Super Bowl prediction. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I am actually a, a big Cincinnati Bengals fan, and I, I've been that way for a while being from Ohio. But I actually really, really fell in love with them the second time because it, it felt like for the longest time they were the only team really – uh, showing any kind of love to uh, no WVU players, so you know being from there, going from there, it's kind of one of those things I really appreciated that part about them. Um, as far as Super Bowl, um, I've actually learned my lesson last year not to uh, bet against Pat, uh, Patrick Mahomes. So until someone knocks him out, I think I think you got to live and die with him being in the game. Um, on the other side of it, oh gosh, that's a toss up. Um. I don't mind seeing a rematch of last year's with the 49ers. I thought they were close. If they're able to get back to what they were, they might be able to do something this year. Yeah. All right. I, I think that's a uh, safe prediction to make and one that I'm probably going to pair with you on. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. So I appreciate so. the time, Coach, and best of luck at uh, Wheeling Island. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.